Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Black Ops Cold War video. Guys, they finally announced when the CDL is beginning, which means that League Play is coming out soon. Let's hop into a game and talk about it right now. All right, we joined a domination halfway through the game, which uh, doesn't make me too happy. But what are you going to do? Sometimes you just got to gotta join a game halfway late. Oh my goodness, we're getting... This is terrible. You know what? We're not going to join this game. Let's find another one. All right, we joined another game late. I... Man, dude, playing solo sucks because you just get... This is back-to-back -back games late, and now I'm just... I don't even know. What are we looking... I think this is like the play... Yeah, the play of the game's happening right now. Why? Why? Uh, whatever. We're going to stay in this one. So really exciting stuff. The CDL finally announced that the first event is going to be like February... Like, what is it? Mid-February? They said the date on Twitter. I don't remember if the date was the... Eight, I think it was the like 18th or something like that. It's one of those weekends, and then there's like an exhibition match thing like a showcase match that's happening soon as well which is so awesome but what that means to me first of all i'm excited to watch the cdl but what that actually means is that league play is coming out like that that's what that means the cdl whenever they don't whenever call of duty doesn't give us league play off the beginning it's because they're waiting until the first event they did the same thing with world war 2 i'm pretty sure they did the same thing with black Ops 4 modern warfare doesn't count because we didn't even have a rank but that's usually how that goes is like literally right after the weekend of the first competitive like event is when we get CD our league play now will we get it like after the show match which i'm pretty sure i want to say is in like oh crap the end of january that was really bad aim or will we get it after the first event which is in mid-february i'm not a hundred percent sure probably more than likely the february one to be honest with you i got streaked on again i hate getting streaked on especially when i'm joining games late and i don't even deserve to be getting these streaks on me losing alpha we are losing alpha it doesn't even matter where do i have teammates like where i haven't seen a teammate in a while besides like that one i'm trying to tax sprint there's no tax sprint in this game one day of mono warfare will, will ruin a man i guess okay i am st spawning at a we're gonna keep a but we lost b that's not good but so here's the great thing so league play first of all is gonna be awesome right because it's league play now is it really unfortunate that we just wasted a quarter of the year without league play like a quarter of cold war's lifespan without league play yeah it's actually terrible but what do you oh wait hold on i'm gonna get this guy yeah peek me you fool peek me you fool but is it unfortunate yeah it's obviously annoying but what are you gonna do it's too late now like what my com complaint's not gonna get us anywhere okay I, what do we expect them to do anything besides like do warzone stuff which by the way they're not even doing that either right now but whatever the thing that's most exciting about league play though is when it does finally come out are they going to tune back skill-based matchmaking a little bit? I I genuinely feel like they will because, sure, I know they're like, they're like hard-headed or whatever, and they don't really want to mess with skill-based matchmaking because even though people like us who don't like it, who are like average or above average at the game, don't like it, people who are below average, which is most of Call of Duty's fan base, like player base, love skill-based matchmaking. Some of them probably don't even know that skill based matchmaking is a thing like they don't even know what that word means because they don't even have like, twitter accounts more than likely you know what i'm saying like they're so casual they just play to play and they love call of duty like this now i do still oh oh that was a bad name there's another guy right here i was about to say i do firmly believe though that with league play coming out it is going to reduce the skill based matchmaking at least a little bit because first of all that's literally what league play is is actually like what skill based matchmaking is trying to be is playing against people you're ranked but you actually get a rank icon that's the thing that's so annoying about skill based matchmaking like skill based matchmaking would still suck but it wouldn't be as bad as if we got a rank next to our name like if i was playing let's say like i'm playing against platinum players all the time if i actually had a platinum icon next to my name that would be and they had platinum icon next to their name you're like okay i'm losing the people who are platinum players like i'm not just losing to random shmandoms so there's a tech helicopter i don't really want to go outside anymore i i've i've destroyed enough kill streaks in my day to get dark matter i'm over it but that is that is why i do think that they're gonna lower the skill based matchmaking a little bit because now that we actually have a league play coming out because in modern warfare it was the first time we really seen that such like this high of a skill based matchmaking but they didn't even have ranks in their like cdl playlist so this is like the first time uh oh uh oh oh uh oh to that guy this is the first time we're actually seeing like skill based matchmaking and league play side by side like what are they gonna do and i i if they don't lower the skill based matchmaking that's another thing like they need to lower it because a lot of i just got scanner repair 
Are you kidding me? That's literally never happened to me ever. I see so many people complain about skating repair. I just got it. Oh my goodness, dude. My game just crashed. Well, that was really annoying. That's the second time. Like, I've never had it before, but that's the second time in the last week that I've had that. Let's just hop into a game of face off, I guess. Just a short game. I don't know. I literally just joined the end of a game. I just joined this game, and look, it's 191. I literally just joined a game so late that it's literally over. What? I didn't even get to choose a class. That's how late I just joined this game. Well, what I've been trying to say for the past forever minutes is that this is the first time we're actually seeing, seeing a ranked, assuming that they actually come out the rank, which I'm sure they are, a ranked league play and skill-based matchmaking at the same time. So I really feel like they're going to tune it back, especially because there are so many content creators even that are just not not having a good time with skill based matchmaking and i understand you know i understand the pain i also understand call of duty side i don't think that they're obviously there's no way they're gonna get you know they're gonna tune it all the way down but i feel like with league play coming out they're gonna tune it down enough right i mean they i feel like they almost have to we'll see what happens though this is uh i think the worst i was stim shotting <laughs> that's why i was hit firing uh, i think this is the worst face off map like gunfight map i don't like this map it's like so dark i don't like dark maps i like to be able to see you know, that's why I really didn't like uh, Holiday Nuketown. Let's stem, let my buddy go in first. My guy didn't even get him not even a little bit weak there. Jeez Louise, what was that there, guy? Something pretty lit is last night. Went to bed nice and early. So I woke up this morning feeling good. I woke up and, dude, I did one of those things where you wake up, right? You're awake, but you still, like, lay in your... I, I don't do this that often, but I laid in my bed, like, in a burrito in my, like, comforter, you know? And I was just so warm and I was just so like maximum comfort. It's like, you know, you know what I'm talking about when you wake up, you don't want to get up. You're not necessarily tired, like to where like you don't want to fall asleep. But like if you had like, a, like I don't have a TV in my room, like if you had a TV, you'd watch the TV or like, you know, you play on your phone, but it's just like maximum comfort. Like you could just sit there and just peace. Even if you, you know, even if you had nothing, you could just sit there in peace like that level of no oh, way my shots that bad jeez louise but i got him and then i got that get shot bugatti by pun cake what a, what a punny man we'll see what happens though with uh lead play all i know is man like we've been playing a lot of valorant and that's like solely because well not i, I don't say solely but that's mostly because there's no lead play yet like if there was lead play i would probably not have even given valorant a try to see how good of a game it is like so valorant is a great game i mean i like i said plenty of times I played a lot of CSGO in the past, like when I wasn't really enjoying the current Call of Duty, because I always play whatever Call of Duty is out, right? I always do, and I always play it like majority of the year. But when you just have like a bad Call of Duty, like for instance, like I wasn't a big fan of the Jetpack Call of Duties, except for Black Ops 3, you know, you just start to play other games because I'm not tied down to any game. I can play whatever game I want. And so I was like, you know what? I mean, I have Dark Matter done, and I mean, Search and Destroy is like makes call of duty more fun like when we're playing with our team like our groups but oh my goodness what a weird spot you're in look i couldn't even see that trophy system i only seen that because the red like dot above it but you know i just started playing valorant because i was like man this game is fun and all but it's just not there's just nothing to play for anymore when dark matter is done and there's no league play to get a rank but it feels like we're playing against you know a thousand overkill like crazy people every game not as many people aren't enjoying it so i've just been playing valorant it's a lot of fun but whenever league play comes out i i cannot wait i cannot wait like i'll probably you know valorant at this point now that i've already have the taste of valorant i know how good it is oh that would have been a nice triple kill now that i already have the taste of valorant though i want to keep playing it because it's fun but i league play man whoo if league play has an actual good rank system unlike the black ops 4 ranked Black Ops 4 rank system was kind of doo-doo cheeks. But the other thing that's, like, so good about League Play is it, like, makes you play hard point and control, too. Like, it's not just Search and Destroy. So, even though I love Search and Destroy the most, Search and Destroy is the most fun, hard point and control makes you... It just, like, it diversifies what you're playing. You're like, all right, what are we going to play? Like, it, it keeps it interesting because you're like, not only, like, what map are we going to get, not only who are we going to play against, but what game mode is it going to be? Like, I have no idea. And that's, like, what I'm so... Oh, I'm so excited. I'm just, like... Indespicable, indespicable me that could so fluff I'm gonna die. I'm so excited until then though I'm having a fantastic time playing Valorant my my keyboard and mouse training has been going well So I'm getting far better at that game at least I, I don't know about Call of Duty because it's a different game like in this game You like 
aim in in a game like Valorant, you don't really aim in. It's like CSGO and Overwatch. Like, you can aim in, but for the most part, you don't. Okay, that really hurt my feelings. Definitely been getting a lot of better, which makes it even more fun. Like, when you're... Is this even the guy who's been killing me? I thought the Puncakes guy was in my spawn. Okay, that was the... Where's the Puncakes guy? I could have swore... Maybe that was the guy killing me. I don't know. But... Yeah, definitely been getting a lot better, so I'm having a, a... Oh, no, there he is again. I can't kill him, though. I've been having so much fun. I'm just excited. Let's get some league play going. Guys, by the way, tonight, we are recording on um, Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Rudy Patootie. Link in the description below. 9 p.m. Eastern time. We're going to be starting off the stream with the literal podcast. Episode two, I believe we did episode zero, which was a pilot. Then we did one. Uh, last week, we missed because I was gone. And... To this week today we're up uh doing episode two so i'll see you guys tonight right you guys want to come check it out and then after that we're gonna be playing valorant because it is a new valorant season and there's a new character which is really awesome so we're gonna be playing that and i just realized that i talked about league play and skill-based matchmaking in this video which means i can get really creative and get a real nice and clickbaity title hmm, i can't wait to see what kind of title you guys already know is it lit let me know in the comment section down below was it a good title you got a better title idea let me know i i the bet i need a better one if it's not good enough let me know please help me i need a better one thank you that is going to do it for today's video thank you guys for stopping by if you enjoyed the video please do not forget to leave a like and subscribe on your way out i did you guys literally just watched my brain lag i i'm trying i've been doing this when i say leave a like and i did it way late leave a like and subscribe on your way out and i'll see you guys all later goodbye